Hi everybody and welcome to this lesson on migration. In general, because most of the time when organizations are thinking about or considering moving to AWS, migration plays a big role uh, in anybody's job in terms of designing that move from on-prem to AWS or from an other hosting provider to AWS. So AWS actually provides a migration hub, which is a single location to track the progress of application migrations across multiple AWS and partner solutions. Uh, this hub allows you to choose the AWS and partner migration tools that best fit your needs while providing visibility into the status of migrations across the portfolio of applications. The hub also provides key metrics and progress for individual applications regardless of which tools are being used to migrate them. For example, you might use the migration service, the server migration service, and partner migration tools such as the ATA data or the ATA motion, the cloud and door, and so on, to migrate an application comprised of a database, virtualized web servers, and bare metal servers. So using this hub, you can view the progress of all of these resources in the application. This allows you to quickly get progress updates across all of your migrations, easily identify and troubleshoot any issues, and reduce overall time and effort spent on the migration projects. So let's go ahead and take a look at four of the main migration options that are available and which are also covered in the Cloud Practitioners exam. So first, the application discovery service, which helps enterprise customers plan migration projects by gathering information about their on-prem data centers. So planning data center migrations can involve thousands of workloads that are often deeply interdependent. Server utilization data and dependency mapping are important early first steps in the migration process. This app discovery service collects the collects and presents configuration, usage, and behavior data from your servers to help you better understand your workloads. The collected data is retained in encrypted formats in an AWS application discovery service data store. You can export this data as a CSV file and then use it to estimate the TCO or total cost of ownership of running on AWS and to plan your migration accordingly. Additionally, this data is also available in the Migration Hub, which I just discussed. Some of the benefits that are offered with this application discovery service are the reliability. It's integrated with the Migration Hub, making it easier for you to get a holistic view of your entire migration process. Additionally, you can protect data with encryption, both in transit and at rest. And lastly, engage with the migration experts. So the AWS professional services and migration partners usually help enterprise customers successfully complete their migration to the cloud. Now some of the features of this application discovery service. First is discover, and that's what it does of your on-prem infrastructure. Next, it identifies the server dependencies after it discovers all the infrastructure it identify and identifies interdependencies it measures the server performance so it captures performance information about applications and processes by measuring the host cpu memory disk usage as well as disk and network performance this information establishes a performance baseline to use as a comparison after you migrate to aws finally after that's done the data explorer the data exploration in Amazon Athena begins. Where, where you're able to explore the data collected from your on-prem servers with a service called Amazon Athena by running predefined queries to analyze the time series system performance for each server, the type of processes that are running on them, and the network dependencies between different servers. Next, we have the database migration service, which helps you migrate databases to AWS quickly and securely. The source database remains fully operational during the migration, which minimizes downtime to any applications that rely on it. The, this service can migrate data to and from most widely used commercial and open source databases. It supports homogeneous migrations such as Oracle to Oracle, as well as, well as heterogeneous ones 
such as from Oracle to Microsoft SQL Server, for example, or to Amazon Aurora. So with this service, you can continuously replicate your data with high availability and consolidate databases into petabyte scale data warehouses by streaming data to Amazon Redshift and Amazon S3. Now one neat thing about this is when you're migrating data databases to Amazon Aurora or Amazon Redshift or Amazon DynamoDB, you can use the migration service free for up to six months. So Amazon is, is really trying to promote their Aurora and their DynamoDB databases. And it makes sense also because they are considerably better for most use cases. And some of the benefits that you guys can see on the screen, it's first and foremost, it's extremely simple to use through the management console, minimal downtime, because like I mentioned, your host database is up and running during the migration processes, supports wide use databases. It's extremely low cost and fast and easy to set up. And as with most Amazon services, it is extremely reliable. Now the migration service also has something called a schema conversion tool, which makes heterogeneous database migrations predictable by automatically converting the source database schema and a majority of the database code objects, including views, stored procedures, and functions to a format compatible with the target database. Any objects that cannot be automatically converted are, clear, are clearly marked so that they can be manually converted to complete the migration. This conversion tool can also scan your application source code for embedded SQL statements and convert them as part of the database schema conversion project. Now during this process, the schema tool performs cloud native code optimization by converting legacy Oracle and SQL server functions to their equivalent AWS service, thus helping you modernize the application at the same time of database migration. Now once schema conversion is complete, the tool can help migrate data from a range of data warehouses to Amazon Redshift, which is Amazon's version of a data warehouse, using built-in migration agents. Now the table you guys see on the screen are the conversions that, that the tool currently supports. Now don't worry, you do not have to memorize or know these conversions. I have just put them on there as a food for thought. It's good, especially if you're looking to continue on your certification path and get the solutions architect or the DevOps or the SysOps, and this will come in very handy. Lastly, two of the unique options that are offered by Amazon are something called the Snowball and something called the Snowmobile. Now the Snowball, which is the device that you guys see on the bottom right, is a petabyte scale data transport solution that uses secure appliances to transfer large amounts of data into and out of AWS. Now, how this came about is originally what companies did is they mailed their physical hard drives to the data center, to Amazon data centers, where somebody unpacked them, plugged them in, and uploaded the data. That became very cumbersome, especially as AWS grew, that became more and more cumbersome and unattainable. So they've developed these highly secure devices. So with Snowball, you don't need to write any code or purchase any hardware to transfer your data. Simply create a job in the management console and a Snowball appliance will automatically be shipped to you. Now once it arrives, attach the appliance to your local network, download and run the Snowball client to establish a connection, and then use the client to select the file directories that you want to transfer to the clients. The client will then automatically encrypt and transfer the files to the appliance at high speeds. Now once the transfer is complete and, and the appliance is ready to be returned, the shipping label will automatically update and then you can track the job status using your management console. Now the Snowball uses multiple layers of security designed to protect data including tamper resistant enclosures, 256-bit encryption, and the industry standard trusted platform module or TPM designed to ensure both security and full chain of custody of your data. On a larger scale, we have the Snowmobile, which is an exabyte scale data transfer service used to move extremely large amounts of data to AWS. You can transfer up to 100 petabytes per Snowmobile, 
a 45 foot long rugged shipping container pulled by a semi trailer you guys see now snowmobile makes it easy to move massive volumes of data to the cloud now, just like the snowball the snowmobile also uses multiple layers of security designed to protect your data such as gps tracking alarm monitoring 24 7 video surveillance and an optional escort security vehicle while in transit and again all data is encrypted in transit and at rest so just an exam tip keep in mind that the snowmobile is an exabyte scale data transfer and for a bit smaller transfer that's when you would use the snowball so let's go ahead and log into our management console and see what the migration hub looks like 